So this one shows the existing plan of the site. Korea Road just down here, Magnolia just at the top, Albania just to the south. Those are the existing flats just over there. The youth facility just here. And the shops over there. And then to the bottom corner, you've got the site just over there by the car park. Um, the idea really is to have an initial engagement exercise, bring people's views in. Um, what we've done is provide three initial options for that. Um, each of the options shows a predominant mix of two and three bedroom um, traditional family style houses. Um, on the first one, we've got 46 houses altogether. Um, there are some four bedroom houses included and four, um, four number apartments as well. With the second option, which is proving quite popular, we've got uh, some community facilities shown, which would be uh, hopefully a replacement shop, uh, potentially for the Londies. And also for the community centre as well. That would move to the Carrier Road, um, so more prominent frontage, a bit more overlooked and more accessible. Um, but generally speaking, very traditional layouts, as I say, mainly traditional family style housing. Um, all the back gardens will be very private, um, front gardens easy to maintain. Uh, each one will have their own private drive um, and be landscaping throughout. Um, so, those are some of the initial options that we've got. I should say that um, this one has the highest number of properties, this would be 53, um, whereas the third option goes down slightly to 48. Um, there are 36 units, um, apartments really, on the site at the minute, so there's a bit of an increase there with each option. Uh, in terms of time scales, this is really the initial stage that we're looking to gather people's views. Um, we're hoping to take all of those on board and come up with a preferred option, which will be around about September, so we're looking to do another consultation exercise, very similar to this one, um, with a view to hopefully putting in a planning application later on this year, probably around November time. Um, that takes about three months uh, for hopefully us to get a planning permission for the site. So that just gives you a brief overview of where, where we're at at the minute.